Are you struggling to combine server-side and client-side authentication in your web application? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into how to seamlessly integrate these two approaches for a smoother user experience. I totally get it. Managing user authentication can be a real headache, especially when you're dealing with legacy systems. Many developers face this challenge, and it can feel overwhelming. But don't worry, we're here to simplify it. Let's look at the specific question at hand. One user asked how to combine server-side authentication with client-side token authentication in their ASP.NET Web Forms application. They want users to log in once and be authenticated on both sides. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's the issue here? The user is currently using server-side authentication to validate credentials and set session values while also implementing token-based authentication for their web API. The goal is to unify these methods for a seamless experience. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that can enhance your authentication process even further. To combine server-side and client-side authentication, the user should start by modifying the existing login process. After validating the user's credentials on the server, they should generate a token. Next, the user should store this token in a cookie or local storage on the client side. This will allow the client to send the token with subsequent requests to the web API. After storing the token, the user should redirect the client to the desired page. This can be done using JavaScript to ensure a smooth transition after authentication. Finally, the user needs to ensure that the web API validates the token on each request. This will confirm that the user is authenticated before accessing protected resources. Fun fact, did you know that the concept of authentication dates back to ancient times? Even back then, people had to prove their identity to gain access to certain places. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests creating a cookie to keep the user logged in. They explain that if the Remember Me option is checked, an authentication ticket is created and encrypted. This ticket is then placed in a cookie, which is sent to the client and returned with each request. Finally, the user is redirected to their originally requested page. If the Remember Me option is not checked, the user is simply redirected without saving a cookie. This approach effectively combines server-side and client-side authentication. That's it for that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative approach suggested by another user is to utilize token-based authentication with Web API using AngularJS. This method allows you to manage authentication effectively across both server-side and client-side. Here's that pro tip I promised. Always ensure your tokens are securely signed and have an expiration time. This adds an extra layer of security to your authentication process. And there you have it. You now know how to combine server-side and client-side authentication effectively. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on web development.